In this video, we will look at how to inject a particular service into your .NET API controller. So when we when we develop APIs using .NET Core, it is never a good practice to write the logics directly into your controller. Instead, we write business and data services and inject them depending on the controller and depending on the operations that we're trying to do. So going back to the sample code, here I have the logic to return hello name as part of my controller. So what I'll attempt to do is uh, I'll attempt to uh, remove the logic into a service and then save it in, and then say inject the service into this into the logic. So to begin with, I'll create a new folder. I'll call it as services. And I'll create an interface, uh, an interface, I name service. And here I'll define uh, a function get hello. And it expects a name as an input. So, so now I'll go ahead and implement, write a new implementation class. I'll now call it as name service, which implements I name service. So it says, you know, it, uh, the interface is not implemented, no functions. So I'll uh, go here and click actions and implement. So here is where I can write my logic, return. I'll say hello and then name. So here is a service which takes name as an input and returns the string hello forward my name. So, <clears throat> so now uh, going back to my controller, uh, I I will have to now remove this logic and invoke the get hello function from my name service. So to do, to do this, I'll first create a private variable uh, of type I inter I name I name service interface. And I'll go ahead and add the using statement using dot net api dot demo dot services and then i'll give a name name svc so now i'll define a new controller for demo con new constructor which which is expecting i name service as an input and i can go ahead and instantiate my private variable with the injected with the service which is injected into my controller. Once this is done, I can basically invoke the functions from name service, get hello, and then pass the name. Save. So now I have a controller where there's not much logic. There's a, the logic is moved into a service and I'm invoking the service after I inject the service into my controller. Now, if I go ahead and just invoke, uh, and start the project and try to invoke the API, uh, the expectation is that uh, I'll get the same response as a uh, hello space followed by the name. So if I go here, uh, I'll say try it out, give a name, try and execute. So now if you notice here, it was it is unable to run the code and it says unable to resolve the interface iName service with the implementation class. So what it basically means is uh, at the time of creating the demo controller, it is unable to figure out what is the interface or what is the implementation class it has to instantiate. This is because we have nowhere configured the .NET startup code uh, to specify that there's a name service implementation for iName service. So for this, we'll go to the program.cs and before if we do builder.build, we need to inject the services that is required. So services dot add scoped, and there are add singleton, which is basically adding a one instance of a service across the project. So I'm adding a add, add scope. And then here I specify name service. And the implementation class for the same. 
So now if I go here and then uh, using .NET API, so here I have uh, configured that whenever an I name service is, is injected, inject the instance of the name service. Now, if I can just put a breakpoint in the name service and then say start. So if I go demo and say try it out, try. Now it is able to hit the controller and there's an instance of the name service. Uh, if I say run, I can see the hello chai. So this is the way to create uh, the services that have that logic into services and then inject them into a controller so that there is a minimal coupling across the controller and the services. Now, as a last step, I, I'll go ahead and commit the changes into the repository, git changes and uh, say commit and push. So this video shows you how to create uh, a service and inject that into a controller they're enabling you to have a decoupled uh, implementation.